Then you swipe from the nature and oh my God, look at that. Main course. Okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to Bumble for sponsoring this episode. Hello, I'm Shane. I'm Courtney. And uh, today we're gonna talk once again about dating apps. Yeah, uh, cause we're bad. I mean, I think I'm mediocre. In the last episode we talked about our experiences with them. Yeah, we put that video out and people in the comments were like, oh man, don't give up so quick. And then the people at freaking Bumble itself were like, yo, what the heck? You guys literally might even be doing this stuff wrong. Yeah, yeah. they sent a bee from the hive. They literally did. <laughs> we have Samantha from Bumble. Yeah! Samantha, you are the chief creative marketing officer. I oh. am, and I heard you guys suck at bumbling. Yeah, did you just hear that just now? We were just talking about That's it. That's where I heard it, yeah. yeah. It's not as hard as you think, it's easy. Do you it's use better. Bumble, Sam? I use Bumble today while I was here. I'm oh. here for like 12 hours, so. Dang, you gotta get a date in real quick. I travel a lot, so I like to meet new people everywhere I go, and I, yeah. That's really brave. I like it, <laughs> I like meeting new people. I have a lot of questions for you regarding that, but okay. I think first we need to get into our profiles. I also just like wanna know some like secrets. Yeah, okay. give us the secrets. There, there are some definitely do nots. Do we wanna remove this sheet? Yeah, who, wait, who gets to rip this off? This you is dramatic. Do. You, you go for it. Yank. Yank! Woo! Right. Wow, props to our oh, team. Oh, wow, wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, this is the one I had previously when I was in the dating okay. world. This was my first impression photo. Me with the food truck food and a soda pop. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job. Really? Shane, not, not as much. What the? Uh, what? We're not even on mine yet. It's not terrible. <laughs> okay, so yeah, my bio is, you know, everybody knows that I got a dog, but it's me who's a bitch. And the last photo is a full body shot, which is me in shark suit dabbing. I picked this photo because it's like, it's funny but cute, because mm -hmm. it's just Nessa's Nessa. It's me, because I wear glasses, you know, I gotta show the glasses side yeah, of me, you, you know? Yeah, you can't hide that. So they already on. know that you own fishnets, so we're getting that out yeah. of the way. Yeah, they, they should know that. That's a fishnets. detail. I think you're doing a great job. Thanks. Great personality pick. You have to have your first photo a clear, honest photo of yourself. Some people may assume you're wearing a hat, you're hiding your bald head. I know, oh. now we know, you're not bald. I didn't think about oh. that. Yeah, guys, we're good. Every time you put on a hat, I don't know. I would say <laughs> this one needs to go first. It's gotta be scary for people, but you're saying to like, put yourself out there. If you don't have a bio, you kind of give me nothing to make a first move yeah. off of. And then answering a lot of our <laughs> questions. There Sorry. Go. It's her I, brand. I wish a profile, <laughs> I wish a Bumble profile had sound bites. Yeah. Then they could really get to know her off of that burp. True. I was always scared of attaching my Instagram. But the yeah. crowd chasers are coming for us. I did like two weeks of me just posting pictures with a banana saying it is Monday. But that, I, you have to understand. But that's you and that's hilarious. <laughs> I haven't seen these banana pics. Oh. Before. You're not missing much. Are they like inappropriate banana pics? No. no, no, no. Like it's a real banana. Like, literally, it's okay. a banana. Like, that's okay, all see, it's that's funny. That's not weird. If someone has one picture, no bio, I'm not swiping right because I don't know no. one thing about this person except for that they hold bananas on Monday. <laughs> okay, Shannon, let's hear yours. All right. So, if I may, <laughs> I'll be right here. All right, so first up, bam. That's just like that's classic cute, me. That's a cute pet. Brennan did take that. Thank you, Brennan. Wow. And then they swipe to the next picture. They're like, what's up with this guy? Oh my God, he has a bunch of cool he friends. He has friends. He has so many cool so friends. Crazy. Courtney, on the other hand, doesn't have any friends. Doesn't have no. any friends. But you posted a picture of a dog. You said in the last episode that you don't like pictures of guys with dogs. He's got a puppy. Oh, he's got a puppy. So he was shirtless and, and he had a puppy. dog. That's super effective. That's a super dislike. Dang, from me. check that out. Wow, hypocrite. He just got busted. I know. I... Okay, then third, oh my god, he loves nature. Everything. We there. know he doesn't ride horses because he's wearing vans <laughs> with a horse, so that could be a lot. Oh, we'll get to the horse picture in a second. Okay. okay uh, then you swipe from the nature, and oh my god, look at that. Main course. Okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> I need some explanation here because at first I thought it was a breast pump. Well, maybe that could be the thing. It's two fanny packs. So we went to VidCon and for some reason all the merch they were giving out was fanny packs. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wear two in one day. But that showcases that you're a very silly person, I'm guessing. I met you about an hour ago and I'm gathering that. Mm hmm doesn't take long. But I'd like to address the elephant in the room. I'm not saying that you look like an elephant. I promise. Okay. You, look, you look great, you have abs, you got some muscles. Don't and I'm wearing a doing. lot of clothes, just not on my chest area. I'm wearing sunglasses. 
but like, you know, like, socks, you, shoes. Even, even you have had some time to understand he's silly and this is a yeah. joke. But I feel like people are going to be swiping through and be like, this isn't a joke, Jesus. But going on, uh, <laughs> so past like the shirt. I love it. And, yeah. and I chose that one because it's like, hey, does he own the horse? Maybe. No. Or maybe he just likes horses. Not with the van. But he maybe, was, the maybe I wasn't going to ride a horse that day. Yeah. Maybe I was just there to pet him that day. What about his bio? Okay, so yeah, my previous bio uh, when I used Bumble was, what's your favorite book? Oh my God, that's mine too. It's something like that. Is I just read it and I like it a lot. Looking from the Pam to my Joey. I hope I got that reference right. I haven't watched Seinfeld in a while. That's really good. I'm jealous of that one. I'm jealous. I will say when I was <laughs> when I was on Bumble, a solid 80% of bios of girls was hiking. like was like hiking, Netflix, wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have our profiles, and so when people swipe on us, we relatively have done it right, you're saying? Mm -hmm. I think the problem I have most is when I'm swiping through other people, I'm extremely picky, mm -hmm. a little hypocritical with the doggy pics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what things should we avoid, and what things in my first profile did you say were no-nos yeah. that I did? It was the shirtless mirror pic. Oh, oh, but that was the Wonder Woman costume. I added a photo of me semi-shirtless. It's the photo of me wearing a Wonder Woman costume. Yeah, it's not completely it shirtless. Okay, it's funny, but we do ban shirtless mirror pics. Like you Whoa. cannot- You ban shirtless yeah. mirror pics? So we ban pictures with guns, unless you're in the military or an officer. We ban shirtless mirror pics. You would not bring a gun to a first date. You would not show up shirtless <laughs> to a first date. Florida's a place. <laughs> I had a good conversation starter that I brought up in my last one. I messaged her saying, hey, I'm looking for someone to go skinny dipping in the La Brea tar pits with. You down? So she responds, we would drown. And I respond, don't worry. I'll bring snorkels. Oh my god. <laughs> no response. No response? That. No response out. That's crazy. a solid opener, yeah. right? Or yeah. am I am I am I did I yeah. make a, a mistake? Did you match with a dodo? <laughs> It was a bird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she just didn't get it. So we implemented a snooze feature where you can say like, hey, I'm gonna go on snooze for however long you want, where you're not gonna lose your matches. So it'll let the people you've matched with know. Yeah, and they don't respond, you feel like, wow, is that a horrible first line? I don't know, and you get insecure in your head when right. really, you have no idea what she was doing that day. Or she could have been already well, snorkeling and was just too tired. Yeah. You can filter who you're swiping through through these badges off of your zodiac sign. So I actually read a blog about a month ago. He doesn't believe in any of that crap. So Yeah, I don't believe. Okay, I think okay. astro astrology is stupid. But a lot of people do. And a lot of people <laughs> determine their dating Do we get a badge lives. that says astrology is dumb? Because yeah. then I would, I would like, but we'd all be Virgos. And we'd all be like, yeah, we all think it's dumb, right? <laughs> My friend that's a Virgo is literally obsessed with it. You should obsessed. meet her. Not a real Virgo. Do you think so? yeah. <laughs> I think that's why part of the reason I think it's dumb is because I got a sign that I think is stupid. Oh, this person gets a bull and they get this this awesome crab and you get a lady. What is animal. your sign? I'm a Gemini. Same! Yes! Oh wait, when's your birthday? June 8th. Okay, I'm 20. 19th. I don't know why I just forgot my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Gemini, am I right? <laughs> Not knowing their birthday. <laughs> no, okay. I read my horoscope and it said like this month, like you're gonna find a Virgo, like you're gonna be the most compatible with a Virgo. <laughs> and so I made my like horoscope badge say that I'm only gonna look for Virgo. And I did it for like a couple hours. Just to test yeah, it. Yeah, a couple hours, then you were like, this <laughs> sucks. <laughs> this, sucks. <laughs> this sucks. These are all the worst. It is now illegal in the state of Texas to send unsolicited lewd nudes. Yo! Lewd pictures, yeah. And oh. if we have, I guess someone has to sit there and check all these pictures if they oh are my gosh. dick pics. Do you or... know the person who has to do that? No, oh. it's like this really smart AI and then I'm sure it's <laughs> There's a dude just- There's a guy ah, in the corner, hey. it's like, that's Brian, he checks for dick pics, he's just like, hey. Yeah. Oh. If you have a role in the office, you don't hit your goals that month, you got dick pic duty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> do you think we are ready? Like with, with these, do you think we're able to get out there and do this or is there more we need to do? I think you're ready. We're switching these. Switch okay, those. Just because you look so pretty there and you could see your full face. Face tin. Um, yes, as long as you start filling out more of your profile. Okay. The badges and the questions really help. You said you didn't want to do your Instagram. That's fine. Maybe Spotify. How do you feel about your music taste? Well, uh, you know. He's a 
actually good. He's good on the music. It's even John Denver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. sorry. You go, go on. Him. I'm very sad. <laughs> Don't be sad. But no, since you he's said a Virgo. Yeah, it's okay. it's freaking Virgos. Yeah. Um, yeah. Say so your Instagram was integrated right here. Yeah. I can't click on it and be like, oh, that's her handle. I'm gonna go stalk her there. It's it does not go there. You see like about ten pictures, yeah. maybe more. What if I have like a comedy video? I don't. I think you could see video. Thank God. Yeah. Because that's weird. I'll that's right. Weird. That. Do you recommend going on dates or just meeting up with people, even if you're not feeling like, oh, I, by their pictures and stuff, I'm not feeling super attractive, but I'm having a fun conversation. I feel like in those situations, it's fun to do like a group setting. Okay. We're yeah. Like, get some friends together. We're gonna go get drinks here. Oh, that's smart. I'm and just like, it takes the pressure off. Yeah. Then, I like, think about that. If you're not feeling it, like if you're really not feeling it, don't do it. Yeah. But like if you're like, I kind of want to try this person out. There's no fireworks yet. Be like, hey, some of my friends are coming here. Bring some of your friends here. Let's meet up for a drink tonight. That's so Cause then crazy. You could have one sip of your drink and you're like, this isn't really gonna work. And be like, hey, it's great meeting you. We have, we're actually gonna go this spot now. As long as you're kind about it. And you guys do like those parties. We were talking earlier mm -hmm. and like growing up in the Mormon family life, we are always told group dates and like going with uh -huh. groups because it's safer or whatever. And like that's definitely like, I feel like I get to know a person a lot better mm -hmm. in a group setting. Mm -hmm. And then when you talk about these parties, I'm like, holy crap, Bumble's like really doing it. Yeah, right now if you, follow Bumble on Facebook in any given city you're in, you can tell which events are happening this weekend. We're doing them in so many places all the time. There's always something to do, so. What I like how you talk about it is that it's more about just putting yourself out there and that experience, and maybe you'll just meet friends. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just fun to literally like, even yeah. if nothing comes from it, but you're just putting yourself out yeah. there and that's good for yourself because it builds your confidence. It, it just feels like when I first started the dating apps, I felt like there was like one way to do it. Mm -hmm. When you make it sound like so much more like free and personal, like mm -hmm. the, the friends stuff, like it's so much very I can think about. It's more than just this app. It's taking it further than that. It's like, it's making the first move in every aspect of your life. We want to encourage you to advocate for yourself and ask your boss for a raise and break up with your best friend because this has been toxic for Ian, five years. Are you looking at your bucks. bosses and they, <laughs> I think they need raises. <laughs> thank you so much. This yeah, thank you guys. Awesome. This is fun. It's definitely restored hope. This is a lot better feel... than last video. I'm Thanks. very proud of you. Thanks. Yeah, this, I will done. say, Thanks. I don't know how I feel about this one, but you're right about the booby bags. It looks like <laughs> breast pumps. Hey. He's trying. He'll he'll breastfeed one very day. Very cool. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, that has been We Are Hi. Bad at blank. Uh, I feel like I might be a little less bad at dating no, apps from now we're on. Gonna be great. Now we're good at dating we're good, apps. We're good. Yes. We're slanging dong all over the place. <laughs> it's a smosh term. Sorry. Sorry, she's a uh, Gemini. Yeah, it's, it's, you know what they're does. like. If you guys want to try Bumble out with us, you can download the app. It is in the app store, I believe. I highly recommend it. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. See y'all out Thank there. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ah. Wow, I feel like I actually have a chance at dating now. Comment down below what your bio might be on Bumble. Also, if you want to watch our fun house, Try Not To Laugh, there's a box up there on the top. Or if you want something special just for you, there's a box right there on the bottom.